Mia turned four and oh, I can't quite believe it, to be honest. I mean, oh. Hi mamas, welcome back to my channel. I've been excited to do this video. I love doing toy videos and playroom tours and activity ideas and things like that because I love to provide my viewers with lots of inspiration if I can. A really eventful time. I look back at old videos and photos of her when she was just a little dot or a little toddler and I think wow you know this is amazing it's just been amazing and it's gone so far. So she's four. She had a birthday. It was a really fun day and she got some really cool gifts. So I wanted to put together a video to share with you exactly what she got for her birthday. I'm just going to run you into it before I start very, very quickly. For birthdays and Christmases, we tend to stick to the four gift rule, which is something they want, something they need, something to wear, and then something to read. Those who have seen my channel before, you'll know that I'm really big on not having too many things. I'm really big on purposeful kind of toys and resources and saving money and reusing and recycling things so i don't like to have too much i don't like to buy too much and give into the whole consumerism thing and waste money and yes all that kind of stuff is just not my thing i like to buy purposeful gifts things that she needs that something that she really wants which you should have on your birthday you should have something you want and then you always need clothes and you always need stuff to read. So I love the four gift rule because it ticks all of those boxes without going overkill and going crazy and wasting money and having too many things. However, we do obviously have a wish list or gift list for friends and family, which they tend to buy from. So I am going to share with you more than just four gifts or more than four toy ideas. So don't worry. So these are e-readers by Disney. I think they're called me readers. They're really cool because it's a really great way for children to read independently. So if you've got pre-reading children and they want to sit and look at books on their own, it basically reads the story to them. So, you know, I wouldn't recommend it all the time. It's really reading is a great way for children to connect with us as parents, but this is nice for my daughter because she will sit on the sofa, she'll have her pile of books and she'll use this and follow along with the different symbols. So the the way that it works is you choose the book from the me reader and then you follow the symbols and it reads what's on the page each me reader comes with about i don't know eight books or something like that and they're all themed so you can get these for lots of different stories we've got one for disney princesses we've got one for lots of different disney stories like mickey mouse and things like that some of the old classics like lady and the tramp so that's really cool she'll just kind of sit and read those independently and we'll do it together as well sometimes we'll lead the me reader and i'll just read the books for her so it can be used lots of different ways so these are stacking blocks these are super cool. So they're made of wood, all different colours. They've got all these different sides. It's more like a rock, really, or like a boulder. And it's really challenging to try and stack them up on the different angles and the different parts of it. She really enjoys challenging herself with these. And it's something that I can play with as well. I really enjoy playing with these when we're together. So we're really learning more about continents and the world at the moment. I actually found this one in a charity shop, so I can't link it for you. But I am going to have a look and see if I can find something similar. This is great because it's in a book, so it's really easy to transport we can take it in the car with us if we're going to like a coffee shop or somewhere that isn't particularly engaging for her then we can whip it out and we can do puzzles right there on the table which is so 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 good when you have a toddler or a child who gets bored really easily it covers all the different continents um, and it's perfect for her age she's quite good at puzzles she really enjoys them so I definitely recommend something like this another thing we're really learning a lot about is the body so I got this squidgy kind of doll and you open up the inside and you can put all the organs in. So it's a really good way for your child to actively learn about where the organs go and what their body looks like inside and the names of them. But it's kind of fun, it's interactive, so it's very Montessori, it's very tactile. Children don't want to be sitting there kind of learning <laughs> words and stuff like that. So this is a really cool interactive way for them to, to learn what's going on in their body. And then she can use it as a doll, she can play with it in her imaginative play as well. It comes with one of those really cool open back hospital gowns that you get. <laughs> so she can put that on there 
here as well. Another puzzle, but this one is a floor puzzle. So again, it's kind of world themed. It's a giant map of the world. What I love about it is the pieces are really big, but they're quite intricate as well. So it's still quite challenging for her to put together. But when this is done and completed and set up on the carpet or on the floor, it looks so incredible. All the little animals and details of the places and all the different continents look so cool. So we'll just sit and point things out and learn new words and just look at all the detail. We'll talk about places that we've been or where we live. So it's really cool. It's a really fun thing to do. I love a floor puzzle. Anything big like that that we can do together is super fun. So these are Paw Patrol metal vehicles. She is crazy on Paw Patrol. Okay, look, I don't usually like to buy things like this, but I think because we do the four gift rule, this was her want. She wanted something Paw Patrol and she loves it. She enjoys it. So I think children for their birthdays should get a little of something that they will really enjoy playing with. So she's got a, not a full set, but she's got most of them that she can use in her play. So this is kind of cool. She's learning words and sounds and kind of sounds that are being put together. So this set comes with these kind of flashcards and then this wooden, I don't know what it's called, like a word twisty thing. So she can pick out the letters and try and match them to the cards and then we can do the sounds together. It's just another way really interactively for your child to learn sounds and phonics and, and those types of things. She's at the age now where this is really relevant. This set actually comes with loads more cards. I mean a lot. I didn't want to overcomplicate it so I kept it really simple with four cards at first and then you can introduce different sounds and different card later on so yeah I, I'll show you what's included in the box it comes with loads of cards and loads of the little wooden turny things technical name so as your child is learning kind of the ah sound or putting together like a cha sound or whatever it might be there's lots of different options for extending their learning this is a really cool book you've got to include books when it comes to gifts and this is one of my favorites so inside is lots of different nature stories but what's great about it is although they're stories it's very real life if your child asks a lot of questions you know how does a rainbow appear you know why do bats go hunting at night it answers all those questions and i love that because we can use it as a reference guide as well as a storybook the illustrations are beautiful but it's very montessori because they're real life stories it's nothing kind of fantasy so if your child's really interested in why things are happening then this is a great book with lots of different choices in there for things to read to them so this was her want gift along with her Paw Patrol vehicles because they kind of come together to be honest. I had to buy them individually but you can't really use a Paw Patroller unless you've got vehicles to put in it. So that's why she's got the vehicles as well as the Paw Patroller itself. She actually saw this when we were out shopping. You'll know as a parent this happens. Children spot things and then they want it. But I was very careful to make sure that she did really want it and it wasn't just going to be one of those things that you buy and then you think oh she's not going to play with it. Her birthday was a good month ago. That's how long it's taken for me to post this video and she's played with it every single day since then and she's become a little bit obsessed with it she uses it for imaginative play coming up with little ideas on what the paw patrol pups get up to she's got a fantastic imagination she uses every day in her play and she gets so much enjoyment out of it so i really don't mind having the old plastic toy because it's really well made and when she's done with it we can pass it on to a family member or someone else who might love it as much as she does so it's one of those toys that will just keep giving so of all also added some animals to her little collection. Animals are something that she's played with since she was a tiny baby. I think it's really cool to add diverse animals in there, not the everyday type of things like elephants and giraffes. So we read a book and it had an anteater in, so I thought I'd get her an anteater for her collection. And she really loves koalas as well, so we've got a little koala. I always try and add little animals in to birthdays and Christmas so she can build up her collection and it just helps with her imaginative play and exploring what different animals do and, and their kind of environments and all those type of things just widening her interest and learning about the world around her really so those are all the gifts that she got for her birthday i love that there's a variety there's lots of choice when it comes to reading materials which she can keep um, and engage with and learn from you know as she's getting older beautiful wooden toys puzzles which she absolutely loves and then the sneaky little Paw Patroller because, you know, everybody needs a Paw Patroller. I hope they gave you lots of inspiration and lots of ideas if your child is coming up to a birthday. I will link everything below for you, so do have a look if there's anything in particular that you're interested in. And please subscribe to my channel if you're new here. I'm trying to grow my channel and I kind of need subscribers and viewers to do that. So that is the very best way to support me if you like my content. So do go ahead and subscribe and I will see you in the next video.